Hey everyone, it's Charlie. It is uh, July 7th, Tuesday. Um, I took about the last four or five days off from uh, making a video or basically even going around a computer or TV. Um, I used uh, the opportunity of the holiday weekend just to get away and uh, kind of recharge and re-energize. Um, and it couldn't have been a better time to do it because all we heard about uh, for the last week has been Michael Jackson and I couldn't stand one more second of it. Um, so it was a good time just to kind of unplug and, uh, like I said, re-energize. So, uh, but when I came back, I noticed that, uh, that I had, uh, went over a thousand subscribers and I just wanted to take a second and thank everybody who has subscribed. Um, because, you know, when I started making videos eight months ago or so, um, I didn't think there would be five people that would care what I had to say or, you know, or, or who even thought like I thought. Um, and this, every time I get a new subscriber, it just, it gives me more hope um, or at least more confirmation that there are people out there who are absolutely sick and tired of our corrupt political system um, and our corrupt financial system um, and concerned about uh, finding out some truth. So um, I guess as far as the number of subscribers I get, uh, just keeps indicating to me that there's more people who are getting really fed up with uh, the way things are going. So, um, again, thanks to everybody who subscribed. I hope I can keep bringing you uh, information that uh, that is useful to you. So, um, and another thing, when I came back, I read this article, um, this uh, interview with uh, uh, ABC This Week's George Stephanopoulos um, and Vice President Biden. And I knew I was going to make a video on it because it's pretty outrageous. And um, I'll, I'll give you my take here in a nutshell. Um, Stephanopoulos calls out Vice President Biden on the fact that when they were selling their first stimulus package, um, the administration had said that the uh, unemployment rate was going to top out at 8%. And here we are at 9.5%. And Biden's response to him is, well... You know, yes, we misread the uh, economic situation. Now, let me just take that part. Because I remember uh, President Obama coming on TV day after day um, saying that we were heading for another, you know, depression. We're still teetering on the edge, uh, and we need to get this stimulus package rammed through. You know, we have to get this thing passed. Um, 1,400 pages, nobody read, and they passed it. Well, and if you remember at that time, it's when we saw the, the absolute lows of uh, the stock market. Coincidence? No, not at all. Um, well, at any rate, Biden goes on in this interview to say, yeah, well, we misread the economy, but so did everybody else. And um, all these blue chip indices had uh, said, uh, the information they had given the administration indicated that unemployment rate would top out at 8% and then start to get better from there. Well, my question to Vice President Biden would have been, okay, why are you relying on these same Wall Street firms to give you information on the economy, these same economists um, who, to give you information on fixing the economy, who A, never saw it coming as far as the economists are concerned, and, and as far as the Wall Street uh, investment houses are concerned, they created this problem. They created this casino environment that uh, has crashed our economy. So why on earth is Vice President Biden and President Obama taking advice from Wall Street? Why are they relying on these same people who never saw it coming and created it to give them information on how to fix it? Because his statement of everybody saw uh, misread the economy is absolutely not true. There's... a tons of economists who are on television and on the internet saying, no, no, it isn't going to stop at a subprime crisis. It isn't going to stop at 6%, 7%, 8% unemployment. The stress tests of 8.5% worst case scenario is a, is a joke. I mean, there's, there was a lot of economists out there saying that, and they weren't questioned or advised. They weren't asked to be advisors to the administration. You know, and, and I'm not... I'm not throwing this on the lap of the Obama administration because the Bush administration did the exact same thing. Um, so, you know, 
it, it absolutely has to dash any hope you might have um, in in relying on the leadership in Washington uh, to micromanage this economy with a handful of czars and key pick people when they don't even understand the true nature of this economy. They're relying on people who got us to this point to fix it. I mean, how asinine is that? It's It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But that's what we're dealing with, and that's what we're up against. And so that should tell you where we're heading uh, to a world of hurt. That's where we're heading. Um, at any rate, I'll post that. Uh, I'll post this interview with this video, and you can read for yourself uh, the rest of it. Because, I mean, it's just it's it's one nonsensical thing after another that we're hearing out of Washington, you know. Um, and frankly, everything that's happened in the last two years has been uh, some sort of stimulus or another. That that even goes back to George Bush's hundred and seventy billion dollar six hundred dollar check to everybody. I mean, that was a, uh, to try to stimulate the consumer economy. It failed. The banker bailout was supposed to stimulate the banking system, stimulate the credit markets. It's failed. You know, the, the uh, stimulus package thereafter, the $1.3 trillion stimulus package, you know, it's now passed without, uh, like I've said, without even being read. And now it's failed. So what are we going to do? We're talking about another potential stimulus package. Um, the one thing that was important that was said in here uh, by Stephanopoulos is starting in September, um, a whole lot of people are going to be running out of unemployment benefits. And uh, in my opinion, that's when things are going to get extremely ugly in this country. When you start having millions upon millions of people who are unemployed and have zero income, um, that's when things are going to start to get desperate. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely expecting a uh, another... October surprise, another uh, severe down leg around the same time as last year. Uh, but who knows? I mean, the way the market's looking now, it, it you know tries to go up a day and then drops even more the next. So it could even happen sooner than that. But uh, um, I've said in the past in past videos that when things are going to get desperate, when things are going to feel like a depression, um, uh, is going to be when there's just no more money uh, to go around, or the dollar has tanked so much that even a pocket full of it is worthless. Um, and when you start seeing things like California paying in IOUs, I mean, the handwriting is on the wall. There's not a lot of time left. So at any rate, um, once again, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed. Um, and like I said, I hope I can keep bringing you information that's, uh, that you can use. And, um, I'll be posting uh, quite a bit more this week, but for now, that's all I got.